Welcome to the Edge Market Update for the week ending April 28th, 2023. Uh, we had some more negative selling pressure on markets again this week uh, that traders were uh, concerned over negative fundamental news. The biggest news was China canceling about 20 million bushels of purchases of U.S. corn. Uh, that really puts a negative pressure on the corn market. And then private estimates out of Brazil are expecting that crop uh, to be even bigger than expected. And then we've also had some really good weather uh, for U.S. planting in the Corn Belt. And I think traders are getting concerned over uh, how quickly we've gotten this crop in the ground in the I states. But we still uh, have, you know, the, the northern plains where Minnesota and Dakotas are, uh, are way behind up there. And, and we'll be approaching the prevent plant date for May 20th for them. So... But we'll go ahead and start with old crop soybeans. And we finished uh, the week at about 14.19 per bushel on old crop. We're on the July contract. And we had set about seven straight days of, of red candles here. We really sold off hard. But today uh, we found a new low at about 13.96. And then we reversed higher and closed above yesterday's high. And so that kind of looks like a bullish reversal there. Uh, we still are kind of in no man's land here. We have longer term support down at 1383. Uh, resistance is now uh, the nine days at 1442 followed higher in, the, in about the 1460 range would be uh, pretty good resistance there. But uh, continue to have to, to monitor the market. We're, we're very oversold um, in the short term here. And we actually have some positive divergence forming on these strength indicators, so that is a good sign. We had a we had a, a very weak reading on strength back in March, and then we set a higher low today, and we're beginning to move back up. So that is a bullish reading. Uh, that is a good thing about this market. Again, on money flows, we are very oversold, but we are turning higher. Uh, Long-term momentum, though, is uh, turning back down. It has peaked and, and turned lower. So for the long-term trend, it looks to be lower. But in the short term, definitely could see a recovery in price here up to this cluster of moving averages. Moving on to November soybeans, again, a similar thing. We set a new low today, but we also closed higher. Didn't take out yesterday's high, uh, but we did manage to close the week at 1264. Long-term support is 1247, um, so maybe uh, a test of that is in the cards next week. Uh, but if we do turn higher here, uh, which would be a great thing, uh, next resistance is at 1282, where the nine-day moving average sits, followed by that key support zone that was lost last week at 1295 a bushel. Um, again, we do have some more positive divergence forming in strength indicators, so that is a good sign. We really need some uh, price action follow through next week. The first two days of the next week will be important to have some positive uh, movement in price um, to really uh, get that confirmed with some positive uh, new trends here. Money flows are very oversold, but they are turning back up a little bit. But long-term momentum, we do have negative divergence here. Uh, we did turn back lower, and we're not able to take out that previous high. So for now, um, the longer-term trend looks to be uh, lower, but we'll just continue to monitor that as we move forward. New crop corn uh, obviously fell very sharply on Thursday. We failed at 597 support, uh, which was the March low. And then we actually did test uh, about 670 uh, two today, um, and that was right around the lows from last July. Uh, we did have a sharp reversal here. We we closed higher. That was good to see that we didn't close at the lows. Um, so potentially we could start to find support here. Resistance is now that 597 area where we did lose uh, support on Thursday. Um, but strength indicators again are extremely weak. Money flows are very weak. Uh, and potentially have some positive divergence forming here if we do get some uh, higher closes next week. Um, longer term momentum is headed lower again. Uh, so that is something to consider if you have old crop. Hopefully you took advantage uh, last week, early in the week, when we had uh, some sell signals on the, on the market gauges there. 
And then to follow up, to finish with uh, new crop corn, again, we did fall through a pretty key support here at the 542, 543 level, which was from last July. Um, odds are we're starting to find uh, support at some point here, given how oversold we are on the technical indicators. That's both new and old crop. We had a lot of selling volume as well, um, but the, about the only good thing about this chart is that we, we, we found a new low and we closed up above it. Price rallied some. Um, other than that, things are pretty negative right now, uh, but my goal is, is for price to find support next week in the short term and start building off of that. I think managed money is a little bit carried away uh, with how quickly they've sold this market off given how many acres we have left to plant in the U.S., um, but we'll just have to continue to, uh, to monitor everything. Um, but with that, we want to thank you for your business. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us anytime. If you need to replant at any point, please call us. And we need to have you speak with a, an adjuster before that happens. But other than that, we want to thank you and have a great weekend.